Welcome back! In the previous tutorial we built a voice assistant for our Android app, and now it can interact with users by the dialogue available in the voice script. But to make a truly intelligent virtual assistant we should go beyond small talk or answering casual users' questions. In this video you will see how to let a voice assistant trigger actions in the app in response to voice commands. Although our app doesn't have much functionality yet, we can still do some things here. Tap the button to see a message and navigate between tabs. Let's voice enable each of these actions. We'll start with the message. When we say hello world, we want to see a snack bar with a greeting message in our app, similar to the one that appears on button click. Let's modify the first intent in the voice script to invoke this action. When this intent is matched, we want Alan to send a command to display a message to the app. We'll add another play function with a JSON object for our command and name it show message. Now, if we type hello world in the debugging chat, we can see that the command is sent. The next step is to handle this command in the app. In the previous video, we have already mentioned that the Allen button code snippet has a block for the command handler. This is where we'll define what actions must be performed in the app when we receive commands from the voice script. If we take a closer look at it, we'll see that our app already logs the name of the received command. Let's open debug logs, set the filter to Allen button and see what we get when we say hello world. Hello world. Hi there. Now we'll update the code for our handler. When we receive the show message command, we want our voice assistant to display a snack bar with the hello message. The snack bar will disappear after a while. Let's try it in the app. Hello world. Hi there. That was quite a simple case. Next, we'll move on to something that is more realistic. Let's assume we are building a voice enabled shopping app with two tabs named Catalog and Favorites. The first thing to do is to update the tabs names in the app. Next, we'll get back to Alan Studio and add two new intents to move between tabs with voice. Open the catalog and go to Favorites. When the user says any of these phrases, we'll send the open tab command with the tab index to open. In the app, we'll add one more condition to the when expression. When we receive the open tab command, we'll get the tab index passed with it and save it to the tab variable and then use it to open the necessary tab. Checking it in the app. Go to Favorites. Here are the items you have saved for later. Open the catalog. Opening the items list. As you can see, to voice enable any task in your app, you only need to add a new intent to the voice script and another condition to the when expression. Try it yourself to complete every task in your app with the voice. 